Hi folks, Steve Griffin here with South Dakota Game Fishing Parks. Um, today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to pull the retropharyngeal lymph nodes on an elk for chronic wasting disease sampling. Before we get going though, I want to just mention a couple of things. First of all, the supplies that you'll need to collect this sample. We're going to need a bag or something to put the sample in. It's very important that when you collect a sample that you record the information for that specific sample. So in this case, it's a hunter harvested elk. So we want the name, the license number, and the unit for that animal. If it was an example of a sick animal, we could put your name, an area, and then the, uh, uh, the location, an exact location for that animal. Some of the supplies that we're gonna need or you're gonna want on hand is a very good sharp knife, scalpel, tweezers with, usually I like the tooth tweezers because it helps grab the tissue a little bit better. And then I'm going to show you the grapefruit knife here which is used to pull the obex, but we're not going to show the obex in this video. And then we always usually, if we're doing a bunch of them, have some uh, bleach solution available just to rinse off the, the utensils as we're doing them. So here we have a typical cow elk, could be a hunter harvested or a sick animal or whatever. Um, first thing we want to do is show you some of the cuts and the tissues that you're looking for. To make an it, to, to find the retro on these, first thing you like to do is feel down until you feel the larynx, which is a bump here on the throat. You're going to take your knife and right in front of the larynx you're going to make a cut down into the throat. Okay. You can see the larynx is right here. You reach in there and grab that and cut down through. And then when you get through the windpipe, make an S cut back and then down. Ideally, you'll come right down here where the foramen magnum, or these are the occipital condyles right here. Now, here's the obex, but we're not gonna show you the obex pulling today, we're just going to go for the retropharyngeal lymph nodes. So if you knock this down, just get it kind of out of your way a little bit and open this up. Okay, to start for the retropharyngeal lymph nodes, you want to look at these two muscles right here. And this is when I'll switch to my tweezers and my scalpel. These are actually nodes here, but they're not the ones we need. You want to separate this muscle tissue from the tissue above it and you're going to dig down in here so you're just basically creating this void down in here for these animals and then when you come down in here you can see right there's a node so all you're going to do is you're going to reach down in here and you're going to kind of scalp use your scalpel to peel this retropharyngeal lymph node out. Okay, and there's one of your nodes. Now, again, keep these two muscle tissues in, in mind and look just above them so you're breaking them apart. And the other one is just gonna be on the opposite side. And if you just kind of cut down in here and do some searching, there's your other node right there. Just kind of peel that out. Clean it up a little bit. And there you have your two retropharyngeal lymph nodes of this animal. So if we look at this animal here, once we've got this pulled, you're going to find these two muscle tissues. And if you look down in here, when you get these pulled out, you should have two voids where these nodes were down in here. And if I cut down in through right here, you'll notice that's the throat cavity right there. So those nodes are right down in here next to the throat cavity. So that's a quick video on pulling the retropharyngeal lymph nodes on an elk. Thank you.